So NVIDIA just showed off their new shiny Pascal version of the Titan X, but what is under the hood and how does it compare to other cards? Let's take a look at the Titan XP. Hello and welcome to How to Compute. I'm KSource and I'm going to be going over the Titan XP with you. So let's head over to the specs. In this video I'll talk about the Founders Edition. So as the name suggests, this card is powered by a Pascal based chip. Features of 1417 megahertz base clock and a whopping 1531 boost clock. It has an 8 plus 6 pin power connector and an MSRP of 1200 US dollars. But how does this compare to the 1080? Well, this may be a surprise, but the 1080 features a 1607 base clock. This is even higher than the Titan's boost clock. But why is this? Well, well, Titans can be used for gaming. They are mostly meant for workstation use. And in these workloads, you don't normally care about clock speed as much as you would for gaming. What you would care about is CUDA cores, RAM, and a bunch of other stuff. Now, if we'd compare the two, we'd see that the new Titan has a huge amount of CUDA cores, 3,584 to be precise. Well, the 1080 only has 2560, so the Titan X Pascal clearly wins here. Furthermore, the Titan XP is rocking 12 gigs of G5X memory compared to the 1080's 8 gigabytes. So now we compared the new Titan to a 1080, which is arguably not the card to compare it to. I just compared it as the 1080 is currently the highest performing Pascal card. Now let's compare it to the Titan Z and the previous Titan X. If we look at CUDA cores, the Titan Z straight up annihilates the newcomer. The Titan Z has 5,760 CUDA cores compared to the 3,584 of the Titan X Pascal. Due to the Titan Z being a dual GPU card, this is pretty logical. Now the previous generation Titan X has 3,072 CUDA cores, so this upgrade of around 500 cores is pretty nice. The RAM is the same amount across all three cards. Though the Titan X and Z rock GDDR5, and the new Pascal one has new GDDR5X, which offers a nice 3 gigabyte per second speed increase. Now probably the biggest difference, though perhaps not always the most important, will be the clock speed. The Titan X has a 1 gigahertz base clock, the Titan Z has a 705 megahertz base clock, but keep in mind the Titan Z is from 2014, and the new Titan X features a 1417 megahertz base clock, which is about 400 megahertz more than the Titan X. There is a catch on the new card though, there's only a maximum of 2-way SLI. The other Titans both support 4 GPU SLI. The Titan Z supports 2-way, but there are 2 GPUs per card. This is not very surprising though, as the same is for the 1080 and the 1070. And the 1060 does not even support SLI. But after 2A there isn't much of a big difference anyway, why would you ever need more power than two Titan X Pascals? So who is this Titan even for then? Well first off it's for the ballers who want to say they have two Titans in SLI, and for the workstation people who do not want to buy an Nvidia Tesla card due to price or whatever. Well, I think this wraps up the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and consider subscribing. Furthermore, I would love to hear your opinion on the new king, the Titan XP, down in the comments. This has been KSource. Check me out on my gaming channel. Link down below in the description. And I will see you guys later. Bye!